Welcome to Searching for the Question Live. Today, we are going to uh, go back to what I addressed uh, in uh, number four, or rather number one of um, this live streaming experiment that I am starting together with you. And it is the toolkit and what you need in order to be able to do what I'm doing, experimenting, making mistakes, becoming better and better, and maybe and hopefully even better than I am doing. There are a gazillion things that uh, we are not a professional uh, in executing. As a matter of fact, we are probably a professional only in one thing. Whatever we studied, whatever we have decided or others told us our specialization should be, and whatever is the job that we started 30 years ago and we are going to retire from. Except that, of course, this kind of path is less and less common to more and more people. The studies that we can do are of many different kinds, and the experiences that uh, we achieve, the skills that we acquire, are going to de be deployed in the types of jobs that we find that will last, certainly not for 40 years or 30 years or 20 years, maybe not even 10 years, maybe not even five years. And it doesn't depend from your age. This kind of dynamic is hitting you whether you are 20 years old or 60 years old. And that is why having a nimble mindset, an agile attitude that allows you to get exposed to what is happening and then take advantage of it in different ways is so important. So today, uh, that is what we are going to do. I'm going to show you, um, and I will try to show it to you in a way that I, I haven't uh, done before, the things that uh, I am using for uh, doing these kinds of live streams. Before doing that, let me uh, share my screen uh, once again to start making some requests and recommendations. So I want to share my browser video, a uh, browser screen rather. There you go. And ask you uh, to follow me on Twitter. Uh, to subscribe on YouTube, to um, like my page, searching for the question on Facebook, uh, so that uh, you can easily follow everything that uh, I am doing, as well as to be alerted uh, about the uh, live uh, events that I am uh, that I am uh, streaming, like right now. So, the most fundamental thing that you need if you want to uh, set up uh, some kind of live streaming or even video conferencing uh, um, system is, of course, uh, an internet connection. Uh, what you see here is uh, the result of uh, speedtest.net. Um, some of the latest um, results that I uh, ran here uh, at home, you can see that both in download and in upload. Uh, and as you see, I have a pretty healthy uh, 40 seven megabit per second download speed 
and 30 megabit per second upload speed with a ping of about 12 milliseconds. So when you do a live stream, you are not very much concerned about the download speed, but you want to have an upload speed that is as high as possible. Now, how much you really need will depend on a, on a lot of um, things. Uh, it used to be the case that we would say uh, a broadband is defined as a one megabit uh, per second uh, connection uh, or more. Nowadays, uh, you will find a lot of people who have uh, a, a direct fiber optic connection with a one gigabit uh, per second speed and they don't feel it's enough uh, for their needs. But these days to do what I am doing, you will need probably a 10 megabit per second connection. In order to do that, it is uh, likely that you will want uh, a fiber optic connection. In my case, for example, I have uh, a FTTC, fiber to the curb. Uh, it means that it uh, doesn't come to my router. Um, actually, the uh, acronym is even something different. I don't remember because I don't have it uh, right outside of uh, my home. It is uh, a few hundred meters distant. That is why rather than delivering to me 250 megabit per second, which my ISP would be able to provide, uh, I am quotation marks only getting uh, uh, about 50. That is the theoretical maximum speed that I'm getting 50 uh, megabit per second. It could go up to 100, but um, the um, ADSL cable that connects the fiber optic uh, um, juncture to my home should be doubled. And for some crazy reason, they were unable to, uh, to um, lay down the second uh, connection. They literally couldn't find where the, uh, the, 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 uh, the ADSL cable enters my home. It's um, some, some strange mystery. I will try again probably, and maybe the team that will come out to attempt to do that will be more successful than, uh, than previously. So the second most important uh, component of uh, what you want to do is of course, whatever you are streaming with. The power of the computer or mobile phone that is capturing the data and transmitting it over the internet connection. So the, the, the first, uh, or, or rather searching for the live, uh, uh, searching for the question live number zero a few days ago, I did it with my own computer. Um, here it is, uh, that uh, is a MacBook. It is not in production anymore. Um, you can think of it as a, as a MacBook Air today. Uh, that is what would, would uh, substitute it. It is the thinnest and lightest um, uh, MacBook that uh, Apple ever produced. And I, and I love it for how uh, thin and light it is. But the processor is not powerful enough to do what I want to do. So I stole... Uh, my son Cosimo's MacBook Pro. And um, this is now uh, sitting in front of me. And I actually could, this will be another of the devices that uh, I will mention shortly. I could actually um, turn the camera to um, look at the computer, but uh, it is a bit broken and I don't want to run the risk of not being able to turn the camera back to me. So even though I have a very nice remote that can turn it around left and right and zoom back and forth, up and uh, down, etc., 
uh, I'm, I'm not going to, to use it. Now, of course, uh, the burden uh, of having to juggle a lot, of, a lot of things is a natural consequence of the power that is united in these tools. So I just realized that uh, I left the screen share on as I was showing you the, 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 the MacBook here. And uh, yes, you could see me in the upper corner uh, of uh, the streaming because of how I set up the software that leaves me uh, visible while I screen share. But let me show it to you once again. And this is the uh, remote uh, of the camera that I don't want right now to touch because, as I said, it is broken. Now, I mentioned uh, the internet connection. I mentioned the brain of uh, the transmission. And this is very important because mathematics evolves even ha uh, faster, algorithms evolve even faster than our computers, and we are now able to do things that were really unthinkable 20, 30 years ago. I remember when I would be looking at what are the frontiers uh, of, uh, of video, both online and offline, and uh, the, the chips and the mathematical processes that we are using today were not available, and people were thinking that they would never be available, that we would never be able to do the things that we are doing right now, but we are. And especially the compression algorithms that take the raw data and uh, push them down uh, over the internet connections in order to be decompressed and shown on your devices are, as you are watching this are really, really powerful. And uh, it is uh, now the um, turn to tell you about uh, more devices. But before I do that, I am happy to report that after several attempts, uh, now I get some messages on Facebook. So the Facebook streaming is, um, uh, is, is working uh, because I see a hi from Jackson Dukpa, uh, who is in um, Bhutan. Hi, Jackson. Thank you very much for coming by. Please feel free to ask questions. Uh, I see a chow from Baratunde Thorsten uh, from New York, uh, who was kind enough to um, have me as a guest on his live stream last week when we spoke about the situation of the coronavirus here in, in Italy. And uh, Baratunde edited that segment of his live stream and uh, published it and then now this picked it up and promoted it to their tens of millions of followers. So thank you for coming on my show, Baratunde, and uh, um, I hope to have you uh, on the show uh, on top of, uh, uh, you know, uh, having uh, just say ciao. And uh, I see a beautiful uh, ciao bello from Alex Lightman, who is connecting from uh, California. Hello, Alex. So uh, feel free to ask questions and make remarks. And as a matter of fact, we do have a remark from Emiliano Morgia, um, I assume from Italy, who is watching on Twitter. And he says, you can have as many ADSL connections and cables as you need at your home. The ISP must provide a cable. And, and yes, that's right. And they were willing to provide it, but literally they were unable to find the, the tubes, the physical underground tubes 
that would lead from the curb to the router in my home, even though one of them was already in and they had only to string a new one in the same tube. So it is quite ridiculous, uh, but that is, that is what happened. All right, so uh, the next component that I want to mention that is also extremely important is the microphone. I am, of course, speaking to the microphone right now, so I want to be careful as I, as I hold it, not to disturb it too much. If there is uh, some noise from my fingers touching it, uh, apologies. Um, why are there two microphones here? Uh, both of them stereo and able to work independently? Because my uh, team member, uh, Emil Olaru, who normally would be here, but of course he's in lockdown and then he cannot move as well, um, is rightly paranoid. So whenever we record, he records twice over so that uh, he knows that if one malfunctions for whatever reason, the other will still keep the recording uh, audio. I am doing the same uh, since uh, I am testing this and sometimes it doesn't work. I am not only streaming to you, but I am also recording through the Zoom uh, video conferencing uh, system that I am using in connection with Restream uh, on, the, on the software part, right? Go back to uh, episode one of uh, searching for the question live, if you missed it, to learn about some of the software setup. We will go back to, to be um, able to give more details about it as well. Now, you can use all kinds of different microphones, right? And uh, here, I am using one that is quite nice. Uh, you know, I don't know how high end and, and whether it could go uh, higher end, uh, but um, you know, I know I paid for them, so they are, they are good. And they can record independently on micro SD cards or via the USB cable, they can be connected to your, um, to your um, computer or even to your phone. When you turn them on and there is a, a USB connection, it will ask you, do you want to connect as a storage so that you can transfer um, the recordings connect uh, that, that are on the micro SD card to your computer in order to edit them or do whatever? Or do you want to use this device as, as a microphone connected to your computer? And then you say, yes. And then the next question is, is your device a, a PC or a, a, a Mac? Or an alternative, is it an iOS um, device? And you can pick one, and that is how it will configure itself uh, uh, for, the, uh, for, the, um, for the streaming. And uh, I haven't tested them with, uh, with iOS yet, but um, I will soon, and you will shortly see why. So Emiliano is asking, uh, what is the brand of these microphones? And uh, they are Zoom, um, the same name as the, the software platform, but not related. And it is an H1N model. So internet connection, CPU, microphone, and then of course, the camera. So the camera that I'm using is a bit old, uh, but I like it, except that now it's, it, it broke. And um, I want to show you uh, the camera on its, uh, uh, on its uh, webpage. Um, so it is a, a Logitech um, CC3000E camera that is part of a whole, uh, of a whole uh, uh, um, suite uh, of, uh, of uh, solutions. 
Let me, let me share the screen again to, to show you. Uh, it comes in a package that is very convenient and uh, it will give you basically everything you need for um, conferencing and as you see live streaming. So the camera I'm talking about is uh, the object you see uh, first on, uh, up front. Um, one of the advantages is that it has a pretty big lens. So it will be very, uh, uh, it will be capable of capturing a lot of light, very luminous. Um, and uh, it also has um, a different um, stepping motors so that you can turn it um, left and right, up and down, and it also is able to zoom. Uh, now, that is a little bit of a mixed blessing because as with everything that has moving parts, the moving parts will break. And apparently, uh, we were, let's say I was, less than um, care, completely careful in storing and moving the, the camera. So it got a little bit crushed and uh, it, um, uh, it misbehaves. When you connect it to your computer, it will uh, try to reset itself to uh, explore the full range of, of uh, 180 degree motion, as well as uh, up and down. But in my case, rather than doing it once and then looking straight front, it just keeps doing it um, very unnerving and very annoying. So you may want to consider as you make purchase decisions around the camera, whether uh, you are afraid it could be damaged like it was in my case. Now it does come with uh, the right kind of... Uh, um, molded protections. So if you are less sloppy and more careful, it won't break. Uh, mine broke because uh, as we would move it uh, everywhere, I was not careful enough. I was too sloppy. Uh, the middle object you see on the screen is um, a hub that uh, connects on one hand to uh, a very uh, nice uh, speaker. Um, I, I think I used this in, uh, in uh, episode zero, and it is pretty good. Um, when you do uh, video conferencing, especially with multiple people around the table, um, often you see these uh, sitting on the table, and the reason wh why they are very good uh, let me turn off the, um, the screen share. Once again, I forgot that you're seeing me small in the, in the corner. So the reason why this is, uh, this is good, even if a bit big, right, is because it has multiple microphones and the job of those microphones is to pick up uh, multiple people speaking and uh, as uh, uh, they... Uh, want to hear uh, rather than speak to be able to cancel their own noise, the noises that they are making. And it is very good at eliminating echo, right? Um, sometimes uh, when you are not using um, a headset and you are uh, trying to do a video conference, uh, there will be a lot of echo or um, you and the other person won't be able to understand each other because automatically your software turns off the microphone and the other person can't hear you as you start speaking. There can be a lot of problems. So if you don't use a headset or if there are multiple people on the same video conference around the same table, these kinds of, uh, of um, in multiple microphone video conferencing uh, speakerphones are, are actually very, very good. And the sound quality is good as well. And then 
there is the there is the remote that I don't want to use right now, right? And then, of course, from the hub, you connect it to your computer in order to use whatever software you will be using to uh, to do um, the the video conferencing connection and so so on and so forth. Now, there are uh, professional setups that are much more expensive than this. Uh, and you know this is also not inexpensive and and uh, obviously whether something is or isn't expensive is also a relative term um i think i paid this about a thousand uh, euro uh, but it very well substitutes uh, professional level setups that are two three times uh, as expensive um I bought this uh, several years ago, and I didn't check since uh, what new devices are available today, um, whether from Logitech or from other makers. So we spoke about internet connection, computer or mobile phone for data crunching and communication, the importance of uh, a good audio uh, and the webcam for video the next one is is lighting and uh, here i have one two three four lights around me and there's another one that uh, i actually didn't turn off uh, on um, these are all um, uh, LED lights and uh, some of them are programmable others are are less so and uh, you just uh, set them up and then you you test it whether your face is excessively illuminated uh, washed out or uh, it is fine uh, what you want is a natural uh, way and you have to uh, think about your background because um, often we we don't think about it we we look at our uh, room or studio or or whatever it is and and uh, we perceive mostly what we see rather than what is behind us uh, but uh, you have to think about the others and you have to think what they will uh, see not only you uh, but uh, also also uh, uh, what is behind you. And uh, people uh, generally like what they see here, uh, books and magazines and, and CDs and whatever else. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, all the room is like that. Uh, I am planning to do a, a, a photo, you know, that uh, shows you everything uh, all around in, in 360. Uh, so that you can see uh, the, the room um, uh, everywhere. Um, uh, Emiliano, uh, uh, apologies. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, my God. Emiliano, thank you very much for alerting me. Ah, oh. um, I don't have a, a, a director... Uh, that can switch things, right? It's just uh, poor me forgetting. So anyway, this is this is the the room. That's the shelf uh, around me, and and uh, the lights. I mean, I could uh, attempt to sh uh, show the lights or or show you another light. One second. So. Uh, here is a, a light similar to uh, to what I just mentioned. Um, these are uh, this is an array uh, of uh, LEDs. Are these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. This is an array of LEDs, and uh, this is uh, I don't believe it is uh, programmable, um, so it will be just white. But uh, you can slide in front of it filters to make it uh, um, other colors as you want and the intensity of the light can be uh, set 
uh, higher or lower. Another thing that is good about this light in particular is that um, uh, it uh, can accommodate batteries rather than just being uh, powered uh, with a cable. So if you put it on a tripod, then you can use it everywhere without, without having, uh, having cables. Um, so let me look at the questions and uh, uh, Emiliano, thank you very much for <laughs> alerting me about uh, the screen share uh, again. Um, I will try to remember to get on uh, and uh, check your um, check your kind uh, suggestions and, and requests. Um, okay, so um, Eliyahu uh, from uh, Israel. Hello, Eliyahu. Says, great to see you, David, and you look uh, like a well-lit movie star. Thank you, Eliyahu. I have an urgent question to ask you. Please see my email. So, Eliyahu, thank you very much. Your comment is public. I am glad that whatever potentially private, urgent question you had, you didn't ask it on a, on a public uh, channel. Uh, I will... Uh, look at uh, your email and as, answer as soon as I can. Uh, if you want to make remarks and ask uh, questions, Eliyahu, about uh, our live stream today, feel free to do so. Emiliano says that he's a director. That is why he's giving these instructions. Thank you so much. I am, I am happy to hear that. All right. So uh, what other components are uh, here? Well, there is a lot of stuff, uh, right? Uh, for example, there are um, hard disks. I have an um, ambivalent uh, relationship with these hard disks. I, I cannot wait until as the uh, uh, solid state drives are even less expensive than, than today uh, because uh, some of these broke. Uh, with stuff that um, sooner or later I will want uh, uh, a data recovery um, service to try and 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 get back because I I want the data I know it's there uh, because the hard disk itself isn't damaged but I cannot read it right uh, something in the electronics uh, is is not working and they need a clean room in order to re uh, move and 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 move the hard disk whatever it's a few hundred. Uh, euro uh, to start, maybe even 500, uh, and uh, then it can go even higher. I don't want them to just look at one file. What I want them is just dump everything uh, on a new drive. I hope it's going to be possible. Other useful uh, components are batteries. You can never have enough batteries, and uh, a way to charge them uh, that uh, is flexible. So, just as an example, I have uh, a, a fairly large uh, portable battery uh, that has uh, many ports. So, um, mm, uh, I, I, I often lose these, uh, so I buy more. And uh, I, I play around with the form factor and how many uh, milli amperes uh, it, it is holding. This one, for example, has uh, 20,000 milliampere hours, of course not amperes, but ampere hours. So 20, um, 20 ampere hours. And what is nice about this is that it has uh, USB-C one, uh, lighting, which is the Apple connector one, and then three traditional old style uh, USB ports. And uh, you can use the uh, USB-C and the lighting. Well, sorry, you can use the lighting for charging the battery itself, this one. You can use the USB-C both for charging your device as well as recharging the battery. And you can use the three remaining old style USBs for uh, 
for charging your device. And then there is also a micro USB, uh, which is the oldest way we remember to charge the battery itself. So these are becoming fairly flexible uh, in order to store energy, gain energy. And my prediction is that USB-C is going to be um, ever more accepted uh, as a connection interface to the point where we may go back to homes being wired in direct current rather than in um, AC. And DC will allow us to not to waste a lot of energy in converting from AC to DC all over. Uh, each of the bricks that you see, and many of the bricks that you don't see in the appliances, for example, refrigerators, washing machines, dishwashers, and so on, waste a lot of energy. You know that they waste energy because they are warm. Every time that uh, you have something that has to do X, and instead of X, you get heat, that is complete waste. There are some crazy people who say, wow, I'm so happy to have these Bitcoin miners in my home because my heating bill in winter goes down, but that is um, not a very smart way of, uh, of thinking. So another piece of uh, hardware here is the uh, monitor and that uh, you will know uh, is, um, uh, in, uh, um, you know, it's useful because rather than having me glance down to the screen as I'm doing right now, this monitor allows either, you know, the director or the person doing the streaming uh, uh, themselves to uh, look at the monitor and it can be positioned very close to the camera so that at the distance, um, it will look like you are still looking at a camera. Um, I also have, and, and I may have to go and get it. Okay, it's there. Just one second. I also have a, a, a teleprompter. And, uh, and the, the teleprompter is a funny little device. Uh, that uh, you put on your tripod and uh, oh you see oh I can show you the rest of the the room with the mirror of the teleprompter wow this is funny okay all right so those are the books on the other side and that's the camera itself hello camera all right so the teleprompter goes on a tripod and then here you put in uh, the camera that is recording or streaming. Nice old uh, style uh, black uh, bag. And the reason you want to do that is because you don't want any light uh, to get in there because this is actually not a mirror, a normal mirror. It's a halfway mirror. You see, if I let light go in, it's not black anymore. You can see my, my hand there a bit, hopefully. And then it looks completely like a mirror when uh, light is not in. And here on this holder, you will put something, for example, this, this uh, uh, iPad or your phone. And as the iPad shows the text, it will be reflected into your eyes by the mirror and uh, you can read the text while looking directly at the camera. And that looking at the camera while reading the text, if you are far enough for the camera, the horizontal movement of your eyes will not be seen because uh, the center of your eyes perceiving uh, uh, the focal 
the in-focus uh, words uh, will be enough. And um, you will not glance down to read whatever you are reading. And, and this is a um, relatively professional setup, if you wish. Um, and uh, I tested it, I liked it um, in, in terms of how it works. It's, it's fascinating. Uh, I just prefer ad-libbing. I prefer speaking to you, knowing a little bit what I want to say, but not reading exactly the words. Now, let me look at the questions again or the remarks. So uh, uh, we have uh, Emiliano asking uh, if I am using Zoom to stream to different platforms. So Zoom uh, allows me to have guests that um, will join me um, you know, in, in other episodes. Uh, today, I decided I, I wouldn't invite somebody to do this. Uh, you can look at uh, episode three yesterday. Uh, I had a guest, uh, Roman Jampolski, and we spoke about artificial intelligence, artificial general intelligence. And I could have, you know, five or 10 or 30 people all together with me uh, to, to speak to you. And uh, we will uh, speak about the details of the software. So yes, that is Zoom. However, the uh, streaming to different platforms simultaneously is done by something else. Um, just for the sake of answering your question, let me uh, jump into the um, screen share. And Emiliano, please uh, tell me if I forget uh, turning it off uh, again. So uh, I want to go here and share the screen and then show you uh, this uh, tab. So uh, you can see that uh, uh, this is restream.io and restream.io is the platform that I'm using to stream to Twitter, branded Periscope, I don't even know if the independent Periscope uh, app is still uh, live, to uh, Facebook uh, on my personal page, Facebook, sorry, on my personal account, uh, on my Facebook page, and on uh, YouTube. Um, YouTube was misbehaving, and Restream alerted me that uh, I had to reconfigure it. Um, so that is what I did literally five minutes before starting. Uh, but since I am paranoid, I'm also recording locally. So if I see that uh, the, the YouTube stream didn't work, uh, I will uh, upload the, the local uh, recording. So uh, that is that, and uh, I remember to stop sharing. And uh, you had other questions as well. So, um, Emiliano is saying, um, oh, uh, he is just confirming that he agrees with uh, DC, like the Tesla Powerwall uh, and uh, uh, the LED that, of course, can be used for regular uh, lighting of your house. Uh, what is hugely important about the LEDs as well is that they last much longer and they consume something like 80, 90% less electricity. Um, and uh, and um, Emiliano also said that he wish he, wish he could buy USB-C wall outlets uh, in Italy, uh, but they are not yet available. Uh, obviously, regulatory bottlenecks are a concern for the spreading of all of these uh, cool solutions. Um, um, we have been joined also by uh, Gio uh, from uh, Romania, uh, who is alerting her daughter, tagging her on his uh, comment, Lydia. And Lydia is in Japan. Now, Japan is uh, uh, eight hours, I think, ahead of uh, Europe, um, seven hours ahead of Romania. 
So it's almost eight o'clock here. That's 26. So it's 2 a.m. in the morning. And I hope Lydia is not going to join us. She needs sleep. Uh, she's an artist. Uh, she had an exhibition recently. And uh, I'm sure that uh, sleeping is uh, an important component of her as well as everybody else's uh, creative process, both for getting great ideas while you are dreaming. And even if you believe you don't remember your dreams, I'm sure they inspire your uh, awakened hours uh, to, to uh, help your creativity. Uh, and uh, they are also, uh, sleeping is important to uh, um, recharge your body. So the last piece of uh, hardware that I uh, want to, to show you, and in the meantime, uh, oh, 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 okay, Lydia <laughs> is telling me, uh, Anna is in Japan, not Lydia. All right, sorry for the confusion. You are right, Lydia. Apologies, my mistake. Uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, this is just uh, friendly banter. Uh, I am uh, very glad uh, of people joining from all over the world. Uh, this is cool, right? So uh, somebody else uh, uh, sending his emojis a heart, which I understand. And there is, uh, I think, a person saying hello is uh, Bertola Bergstrand, I think, uh, in Sweden. And... Um, Bertola had a wonderful trip in Pakistan uh, with um, um, Rehan Alakhwala. I will want uh, Bert uh, to be a guest uh, uh, in the future, as well as uh, Rehan, maybe together, uh, so that they can uh, tell us about uh, their respective experiences, as well as their joint experiences. Anyway, back to here. Uh, the, the last uh, piece of hardware that I want to show you is this one. Um, isn't it cool? I used, to, I used to love it when I would see the professional camera people uh, carrying huge contraptions on their shoulders and backs balanced in various ways. And I would realize as they were running, and bouncing and, and, and doing all kinds of acrobatics that the camera would always be horizontal. And uh, that is what is happening uh, here. Uh, these are called gimbals. And uh, rather than being mechanically balanced, as it used to be the case, these are now balanced with electromechanical motors. And they are really amazing. So um, they have in front uh, all kinds of buttons that uh, enable you to start and stop the recording um, and uh, also position the, the camera and then it will keep the, the position. Let me see if I can, I can show you. So as I pull the button, you see that the camera turns and then it doesn't matter how I hold it, it will keep that position. It needs a little bit of time for adapting and uh, uh, probably the more professional versions uh, don't have uh, any kind of deviation like, like this one has, but um, it is um, an amazing piece of uh, hardware. Now, one thing that I was too afraid to, to do today, and I will try to do it as soon as possible, is that here on this phone, I have set up already um, a, a connection to the str same streaming service. Hmm. I cannot show it to you. And, and there is a way of... Uh, sharing the iPhone screen. All right, we will go back to this uh, next time when I will have tested it and, and then I will be able to, to show you both the screen of the iPhone as well as we will just use this because this will become 
a second source to the stream, right? We will join the stream and there are at least two ways I can do that. I can either join the conference itself and actually I could do it right now. I, I wouldn't have a problem doing that right now. Uh, or I can join directly the stream. A and uh, then I am not exactly sure how it would behave uh, with the conflicting data. What is it that would make the current, the, the, the camera, I want the live camera? Because uh, Restream doesn't have a, a, a virtual mixer where I can uh, go from one uh, to another. Okay, so um, um, Bert is confirming that he's happy to, to join uh, the, uh, the, uh, the show uh, one of these days. And um, uh, we also have uh, an off topic uh, from uh, Emiliano who says or asks, um, can AI be used to, find, uh, to fight the coronavirus? And the answer is absolutely yes. It is already uh, uh, doing that in many different ways. For example, uh, it is now being used in order to work out the shape of the proteins that um, are on the surface of the virus so that we can develop um, things that will attach to it other proteins, I would assume, uh, in order to make it ineffective to enter our bodies, our cells, right? But the shape of these proteins can only be worked out with very advanced computing. And there are other ways that, uh, that uh, AI is also being used to fight uh, the coronavirus. We did speak about it with Roman yesterday, so you can check out uh, episode number three. And uh, uh, Anna uh, can be a guest, uh, says Gio, volunteering her. And I am doing that with my daughter a lot as well, and she hates it. So, Anna, um, please confirm if you want to do that. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I will be, of course, uh, happy to have you. Uh, my daughter herself is in Korea. So we could have um, a Japan, Korea, Italy coronavirus uh, uh, session. Um, and, and maybe we can have somebody from, from the U.S. as well. And then we have another uh, friend uh, uh, connecting from Hungary. Uh, Chilla says, A gellért hegyről figyellek. So uh, that means I am uh, uh, watching you from uh, Hill Gellert, uh, which is uh, in Budapest. Hello, Chilla. Uh, thank you for, for joining. I don't know if it is going to be another five years or 10, but yes, we will have a simultaneous AI-driven translation uh, for these so that uh, not only people who uh, are able to uh, listen to English live, but also people who uh, want to hear what uh, we are saying in other languages can tune in and participate uh, in, in real time. As you can see, there were a large number of nations and languages represented. But of course, as of right now, our common language is, is, is English. All right. So uh, I showed you um, many, many things. We spent an hour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please um, like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, follow me on Twitter. Uh, I am very easy to find. Uh, I don't need to spell out the uh, URLs because just uh, you write my name and uh, you will likely find me on the platforms uh, that you use as well. Um, including Instagram, for example, we are where we are not streaming yet because Instagram doesn't support this kind of streaming. But we may 
experiment, you know, uh, we'll see. And uh, also Patreon. Uh, I uh, want to show you the, the, the Patreon page uh, in ending uh, where uh, you can become a supporter. Um, it is um, a, a good way uh, to show uh, your uh, appreciation. Uh, I um, set up a, a default membership uh, level in order to uh, create the future together. Uh, and uh, people are uh, starting to, uh, to join as, uh, as supporters, but you can choose less or more or nothing. Um, I have a hard time closing off content. What I think that is the best way to reward the um, supporters is with attention. So that is why I will dedicate special sessions uh, to Patreon supporters, uh, AMA sessions, Ask Me Anything, um, special Q&A question and answer sessions, but also, um, as long and as much as is possible, I will also try to give you individual attention, where you can ask me things, or you can bounce ideas off me, or we can just have a banter. So uh, this is on Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash David Orban. Thank you very much for being on uh, uh, this uh, episode of searching for the question live and uh, I will uh, see you tomorrow.